Welcome to Fresh Snow channel. Today's video is going to be about SQL developer. How is their career and a professional life going to be? Now with this alignment, we will also understand what are the skills that are needed in order to become an SQL developer. If you are interested to start off your career, I think that this video is going to be a helpful video for you rather than saying the right video. So stay tuned till the end and know about their pay scales also, how are they being paid in India and in major other cities. Before we head over to the definition part, I would be just telling you what this, this SQL means. SQL is something which is all considered as a backbone for the data industry. So if you are interested to start off your career or if your profile is data centric profile, being it as a data analyst, data scientist, business analytics, etc. So even it can be a database developer as well. Everything which is revolving or centralized around these profiles, you can start off your career as an SQL developer as also. So without further ado, we would be just knowing the definition part as of now. So as you can see on the screen, SQL developers are those people that are going to be helpful in large and small businesses to manage their data. Nowadays, we have organizations and many other companies who need their database to be managed well, unless and until to making sure that it is protected. Next, it is to be managed and know the source as to how the data is being further processed. And so this is why the SQL developer comes into action. Manages the data while ensuring the security and safety of the systems. So it is through database itself, through the management of database itself, you would be taking care of the security and all the safety of the systems. Areas which involve uh, this SQL development like system integration, security setup, testing, which requires strong technical knowledge. So your basic skills or the basic credential of starting off an SQL developer is having wide variety of technical knowledge, how it is working, the progressions and the resolvement of the issues etc. So all of this will be taken up into consideration if you want to become an SQL developer. SQL or structured query language is considered to be the backbone for data industry that we have known. Now this is considered as a standard language in relational to the databases. So this is required in many of the fields and most of the clients or the businesses or organizations which you are working with need an SQL development in order to protect their systems and have the maintenance of their security whitelist for using their data. Now, we would be now knowing about what does this person actually do. Before that, you would know what are the skills that are required to become one. As SQL is essential for the database, which is used for searching, changing and also maintaining the database, you can also use other operational workings or other operational things like optimization of data and maintenance of data etc so all of this which are related to the operational setups now before we head over uh, to main the skill part or knowing what are the skills which are just listed on the screen you would understand which skill is essential for what so that you can have a clear outlook before you step into this career path the first one is database so why this database needed and knowing about everything Database is useful for the physical or the operational purposes and also to help you to maintain and know the resource as to how the data is being processed. Knowing about data management, which is the first one or as mentioned here, data management or reporting or documentation of the data is considered to be the prior skill that SQL developer should be brushing off with. The second one is about reporting of the solutions. So whitelist using varied tables and knowing the data sources. 
you should also be able to understand as to how this particular implementation of data is further processed and then it is being implemented into. So SQL coming to action only when you know the data management, how it is being further reported. You should know the versions of the control and also the versions of tables which are being implemented into. Further documentation and reporting of the data is to be managed and taken care of an SQL developer. The third one or the third skill that you should know is TSQL. TSQL is considered to be an extension language for the SQL language. TSQL is also considered to be called as Transact SQL. This is considered to be an extension and knowing about the various implementations of the language also. You would also understand various systems which are intertwined with the SQL. So with this further extension of the language, you would understand various of the patterns or the trends, the emergence and also knowing its implementation and the processes of that particular language itself. Whitelist providing many possible statements, it is also used to filter data legacy systems so that the data is being further processed and then knowing up the implementation of the language in an appropriate and a proficient manner. These are the three main set of skills. The fourth one is going to be SSIS which is considered to be an server integration services. This is an ETL tool from Microsoft, ETL tool of Microsoft and this is going to be acquiring for unique data in order to restore or to be cleansing up the data. So this particular tool is essential or considered to be a skill part of an SQL developer. This is also used to develop for the applications and also to bring up varied solutions with the possible statements in order to bring resolving of the issue to the particular application or the database which he or she is working upon. The fifth one is analytical skills. So through these analytical skills, you would be able to understand the client, know what the processing is about, meet the needs of the client, understand the organization perspective and know as to how you have to process and need that data to be implemented to. So when this career path is everything revolved with database, you should be having strong communication skills to commute with the client and help him or her to understand as to how you are being processed, how it is being able to understand and how this is being implemented for further use. So unless and until if you don't be having this particular analytical skills, you would not be having the critical thinking capacity in order to resolve the issues in a quick and efficient manner. So analytical skills are considered to be the prior most important thing for an SQL developer. So here are the skills part, which is going to be Microsoft BI, Oracle ELT, PL SQL, Oracle 11G. So all of these skills which are going to be considered are to be prominent enough in order to start off your career as an SQL developer. Now these skills should be taken up into a proficient level or is it enough to start off your mid-level career? Now I'm going to tell you that the more skills that you have, the more proficient you are. So whitelist from your starting of your career, even in the beginning or an entry level job itself, you need to understand the role and the responsibilities that you need to be filling up when you are starting off your career as an SQL developer. Now we would see what does this person actually do. So some of the roles and responsibilities which are aligned with the role are as follows. The SQL developer or the SQL server developer is going to be in charge of designing, developing and maintaining SQL databases. So revolving around database. Also be responsible for designing applications with the interface with SQL databases. They are also responsible for analyzing the company or the organization data management. So they would be result oriented for the protection of the data and the input needs and also help them to design the systems that organize, store and access the data for them. So right from the designing part to the accurate resourceful storage part, everything in relation to the data or the database is taken up by an SQL developer. Now not just only these, but the duties may vary as an SQL developer. It may be from optimization, designing or sometimes creating or restoring the data or knowing as to how this data is being documented. All of this is going to be a part and parcel of the role. So with alignment with this, 
the entry level job itself is going to give you a little bit of exposure as to how you can start off your career into this next if you are willing to become one you can consider these points and then make a note of it either if you are a junior or you are starting off your career in this you can consider these points and make them proficient enough adding up the skills which are necessary now knowing up various tools and implementing those tools into action knowing up about various emergence and various trends and patterns you should be able to understand as to how these patterns are being processed and which pattern or trend is going to be useful for you to take over the control and bring a benefit to the organization or the company that you are working for so if you are willing to become one make sure that you are being much more proficient enough in sql knowing about the processes knowing about the implementation knowing the output knowing the trends resolvement is considered to be a pattern or the line of thought that you will have to be working upon ability to create and modify the databases is going to be the responsibility or the task that he or she fulfills experience with integrated development environments like oracle sql developer mysql or microsoft sql server knowing of various tools and other servers or knowing up about various other programs or the applications which are being used for the protection of the data or the security or if you are designing a new set of database then you should be able to know well versed in being proficient enough in implementing these tools or the applications that are being used for the security and also the development for the organization's perspective ability to write complex sql queries and familiarity with other programming languages like c c++ php and javascript so with programming languages also you would be enabled to decode yourself and make sure that you are aligning in a right path and making sure that you are able to understand the perspective of what the company actually needs or what the organization is looking in for so as you will be working up with various other sectors and every interlinked network is being connected to this database that you are working on you should be well aware enough that you are documenting it first place and reporting every set of change that you are keeping into action what are the job roles which are aligned with this are as follows now some of uh, the responsibilities we have understood it is all about creating developing and maintaining sql databases that is the uh, prior task that the sql developer would be fulfilling creating database and various other uh, patterns or the structures or the tables variables which are schemes and dictionaries is going to be the responsibility and ensuring the database performance and stability making sure the resolvement is in proper manner creating scripts functions and trigger and procedures to support that particular application development is going to be uh, the prior role that an sql developer would be taking up in charge of now we would be stepping in into the pay skills part the source itself is taken from pay scale so if you are willing you can check out their website also for further more clarifications any number which i am going to just mention you is just going to be on an average basis so you can head off with that on an average basis in india an sql developer is paid 4 lakhs 50000 per annum and this is of a good start you can just say that when you reach uh, median career level or when you reach mid level career then you are going to get this pay or is this starting from an entry level itself now this is going to depend upon your skills and specializations apart from your computer science degree or any other specializations if you have done any sort of internships or if you have done any open source projects or if you have taken up under companies lead or anything like that that is going to be a major impact on your profile with that all further notes you can take up the further step in starting off your career in this and this is how your graph is going to look like the professional graph or the career graph of an sql developer is going to take up a high leap as you can see here over the years with prior experience and due intentions of the skills and the implementations of uh, whatever the skills that you have been acquiring through the years it would be eventually developing and the need of an sql developer is high in demand anywhere in the world or even in india as well so considering that part as you can see the first year itself is going to give you a high rise or a high start off in your career and over the years around 5 to 10 years in between you can start off or you can land up in a prior good way or a good standardized way on your professional path 
and the major city Mumbai which is going to be the land or the marketplace of many national and international companies is giving a wide range of exposure for SQL developers. The need of an SQL developer is going to be very high in major cities in India. So Mumbai is paying off around 3 lakhs 93,000 per annum that is almost reaching up the average pay when we consider the whole country. In Bangalore again Topping off with major other cities, Bangalore is giving off the highest payable or considered to be at least reaching up the average pay which is going to be around 4 lakhs 96,000 per annum and in Hyderabad again almost equivalent or balancing with Bangalore itself you will have 4 lakhs 77,000 per annum if you are willing to start off your career as an SQL developer in the south itself Hyderabad is going to be the best place for you if you are really interested in starting off your career in the south Hyderabad is going to be the best place for you to start up your career as an SQL developer you should also be well aware enough to what company that you're working for to which client that you're giving your services to according to the skills and the rendering of your experience itself the company or the client is going to accept you accordingly in respective of that Pune also is landing off with a high mark of pay which is around 5 lakhs per annum which is tops up all the other cities so even Pune which is not to be said or not to be counted under the major markets of businesses or organizations. Pune is also considered as one of the branded place where you can stand up as a professional and set up yourself in a very professional manner. So 5 lakhs per annum for an SQL developer, it depends upon your skills again and also to the company that you will be working in for. Noida again reaching up to the average pay scale which is around 4 lakhs per annum which is going to be a good start off and in TCS salary as an SQL developer in TCS is going to be 4 lakhs 50,000 now it will be differing again with the company to company TCS is going to be a good start off with your career now if you are willing to start your career in TCS itself TCS is offering you the, this particular exposure may be from the internship level or on a mid career level it according to the skills that you are inculcating with and according to the experience that you are having with your pay is going to be high rise accordingly but remember this profession of an SQL developer is high end needed in every organization or high end business levels and in cognizant so again teaming up with TCS itself you can also know on a balanced scale cognizant also is paying you around 6 lakhs 49 thousand which is a high demand of SQL uh, developers which are very much needed in cognizant so as you can see itself and another one is Accenture Accenture also is stopping off with other uh, organizations which is giving you around 5 lakhs 97 thousand when compared to the cities and companies which we are just seen you can see that there is a major difference see when you have landed in some companies or so you can eventually get a clear idea okay when you have have particular skills when you have particular degree or the uh, that particular internship or set of uh, years of experience you can eventually understand as to where you will be further placed so that it will be clear enough and how you would be further processing into so that you would get a clear outlook or the picture for it now don't think that sql developers are just based only for this organization or only for these cities sql developer is considered to be a high-end profession where every organization or company needs and every organization needs the data to be managed and protected with that point of view don't let yourself down and if you're having any degree which is relevant to computer science or anything which is relevant to that particular field sql developer is going to be a right start off for you and also if your profile is data centric also you can start off your career in this and with this further further note we are going to end this video i hope this video is helpful for you all if you have any other questions you can place them in the comment section or if you have any other opinions or suggestions put it down in the comment section stay tuned for more career videos like this and consider subscribing thank you for watching